guys, we are at Ikea today um, and I'm taking you with. So I'm here, I have to pick up a few things to get my sewing space organized for the new year. You know we're doing the quilters clean along. Um, so I thought it would be fun to go through and show you some of my favorite products or things that I think you guys would love or find useful. Um, so let's go. How cute is this little setup if you have limited space? And if you don't already have one of these little utility carts, these are perfect for crafting in small spaces. And I love that this one actually comes with a cutting board on top. It's technically a cutting board. Um, but I would use this as an extra space for cutting or pressing. You could totally turn that into a little pressing station um, or just use it to store your sewing machine. This could easily fit most domestic sewing machines on top. You could roll it away when you're not using it and then roll it out when you wanna sew. This is the desk system that I have in my office. I have the Mittbach legs that are actually adjustable with the um, white tabletop. So I actually have mine set to standing height and I use it as my cutting table so I can stand while I cut. Um, this one right here is obviously set lower so you can sit at it. So I really love the extra storage that it has underneath and I love that it's adjustable. So I'm in the kitchen section right now of the Ikea Marketplace and if you have not checked out this place, this is definitely a gold mine when it comes to sorting and organization. Even though they are designed for kitchen use, um, a lot of this stuff would make great use in a sewing room. So this is actually a plate stand or lid stand, but I think this would be perfect for sorting acrylic cutting rulers, um, especially of the desks or table space to spare. You can sort them from largest to smallest, so you can see everything and keep it nice and sorted and out of the way. Next up is these little glass jars. I actually have these um, in my studio space for holding basting pins and wonder clips and all kinds of like little knickknacks. Um, and they're just super cute little clipped jars. This one is the 17 ounce jar for $1.99. cute are these little checker jars. I just love these little minis. There's three of these little four ounce jars for five dollars. So cute. And next is these plastic food containers. Well they're technically food containers. They're just plastic rectangle bins. I don't have these exact ones but I do have something similar for storing my small cuts of fabric like fat quarters and half yards and things. And here's a slightly smaller size that you could use for even smaller cuts of fabric. I like that they're clear so you can see what you have all in one space. These glass jars are only five bucks and I have a couple of these in my sewing space. They're more decorative than functional but I use them to hold thread spools um, kind of sorted by color so they're just really pretty and decorative and again it's clear so you can see exactly what you have here's another great example of a kitchen item that would be great in a sewing room a lazy susan so if you have some small items that you want to keep on hand and nearby and organized a lazy susan would be a really really great option So another wall storage solution would be a magnetic knife rack like this. And this one actually has a pretty strong magnet to it. Um, but this is something that you can use to hang scissors and even rotary cutters if you want. The bathroom section is another just gold mine when it comes to storage and organization. I love this little glass the cork tops perfect for pins and clips and things and this can sit right next to your sewing machine stackable and it's on a little cork tray and it's only 20 bucks here is another bathroom item i think this would make such a great little sewing box it's actually layered and has dividers on the inside so it would be great for sorting small notions um, and sewing supplies. Here's a super cute little ladder. I think it's technically for storing towels, but it would make such a great little quilt ladder. And it's on sale right now. 
I don't know about you, but I'm constantly using lint rollers, and these are only 59 cents. Here is a tabletop ironing board. Um, personally, I think I like to press on a bowl mat, pressing mat rather than an ironing board, but if you're looking for a compact solution for pressing, um, this could be an awesome option for you. Something that you could set up right next to your sewing machine and do pressing right there at the same table. So this whole line from Ikea is called Scotty. These are the pegboards that I have in my studio and let me show you how some of these work. So they come in three different colors. You have the black, the natural, and then the white color. And then just tons and tons of accessories. So I have these peg cups. These are perfect for hanging um, scissors and rotary cutters. I love these little clips for um, holding like patterns and things like if I'm cutting I can just clip it open and hang it right in front of me on my cutting table. Here's another one. This one is basically um, just a little hole for scissors. Would be a perfect one for this. Now this is technically a magazine holder um, but I have this up on my pegboard for holding my cutting rulers. I have lots of these little drawers for holding pins and thimbles and little things of thread, bobbins, things like that. Um, these are so perfect. So they slide out these little drawers, but then you can take them out and take them to your workstation or your sewing machine or whatever. I also have lots of these little cups for just holding markers and pencils. So really fun and easy way to store and display your quilts is just a really large oversized basket. I love this one because it's really large um, and has this really big open weave on it which is great for showing off your quilts. So this one's a little bit more of a boho style but if you like something a little bit more rustic or country looking they have this one also really big nice oversized and a nice open weave on it. We're in the home organization section and they have a lot of different tablet holders. I really like this one. It has an adjustable base to it, um, as well as a hook on the back for holding um, headphones and things. But if you are someone that likes to work exclusively with digital PDF quilt patterns and like to have a tablet nearby, this would be a great solution. Something that you could prop up right next to your cutting table uh, or next to your sewing machine while you're piecing and cutting. Um, so yeah, really nice option and again, only $13.99. More home organization products. I love these SAMLA boxes. I specifically use these three gallon boxes. They're great size for storing um, all of my whips. So works in progress. And again, I like that they're clear so you can see exactly what's inside. And they're a great size for storing all of your fabric for one specific project, including all the backing and binding fabric. Um, you can label them if you need to. And they're really great stackable option. And they come in a ton of different sizes. You can see they have these deeper and larger containers. They even have smaller ones. Um, and they're sized perfectly so you can fit two smaller ones on top of a larger one. Um, so really great, versatile, and modular project. I just love this little organization box. So the little lid comes off the top, so you have little compartments there. And then the whole thing just opens up like those old school sewing boxes. And then you have the large space underneath. And it's just raw pine, um, which I love the look of that, but if you don't, you can obviously stain it or paint it, which would be super cute too. I love these Parkla bags. Um, they're just these zippered storage cases, but I like to use these for storing large quilts um, or giving away quilts, you know, just so they have something to keep it in, keep it safe and clean if they want. Um, and they're really, really inexpensive, only $1.99. They have this option, um, about the same dimensions. Again, kind of semi-clear, but it has this nice large handle on it for carrying. So it's a little bit more at $2.49. And then my favorite one is this printed one. Um, Cause I mean, it, does, it doesn't get more quilty than that. But another zipper storage container. And I think this one is $2.99. So this is the most expensive out of the three, but still a really just great option if you're looking for um, a short-term storage solution or if you're transporting or gifting any quilts. I love these bags. 
So if you are someone that has a lot of scraps that need to be sorted or a lot of bedding scraps, I love these stackable recycling totes. Um, so you can have multiples stacked on top of each other if you need to sort into like lights or darks or warms or cools or however you sort your scraps. They're a little big and bulky, so if you don't have the extra space or don't generate a ton of scraps, these may not be the best solution, but I think those would be pretty handy. How cute are these little portable Bluetooth speakers? Um, cute little colors, and they're only $14.99, so if you're like me or most other quilters and like to listen to music or podcasts or audiobooks while you are sewing, these are super cute and affordable option like at only $14.99 and I do think they come in two they come in either singles or two packs so if you're looking for like more stereo options you can get two of them so this is the Ivar system that I have in my studio that I use for a lot of my storage and I have it set up exactly like this with the um, cabinet doors on the bottom and then the open shelving on the top or you can reverse it like this if you want it's a really versatile um, and modular system so I knew that if I ever had a bigger space or needed more storage, I could add on to it. The other cool thing is if you are someone that has a lot of fabric bolts, the depth on this is perfect for um, storing fabric bolts. So you can, you know, eliminate these middle shelves and just store or, you know, line up your fabric bolts on this for a really great storage option for um, if you have a lot of yardage. Is it even a shopping trip to Ikea if you're not picking up meatballs? No, no it is not. Can't forget the ling and berry sauce. Hi right, everyone, that is my shopping trip through Ikea. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, please leave any comments below if you have any questions. I would love to hear what some of your favorite Ikea products are. Are there any storage problems you guys are coming across where you need a solution? Are there other stores I should do this with? Let me know, comment below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.